Now that we have most of the beginner terms under our belt, we're going to move along to a new recipe. So far, our hard oils and butter recipes have made us two reliable, robust bars of soap. But it's not only oil that can contribute to bringing your recipe to a heavy, thick trace. There are additives that can do this almost on contact. Clay is one of those additives. In this video, we're going to make a luxury clay bar and demonstrate what you can do with various colors and how this will affect the texture of your soap while you work with your design. In Lesson 2.5, we're making a Neapolitan style bar layered to look like a slice of ice cream using three different types of clay as colorant. Now we'll start this recipe out the same way that we did the last two. First, we carefully dissolve the sodium hydroxide lye crystals into cold distilled water. To do this, we'll need 18.24 ounces of cold water and 6.8 ounces of lye crystals. And we'll get this blended down until the crystals are completely dissolved. Now we have to set this aside to cool, and while we're doing that, we'll move over and melt down the hard oils into the soft oils. For our oil combination, we will need 16.8 ounces of classic olive oil, 16.8 ounces of lard, 12 ounces of coconut oil, and 2.4 ounces of castor oil. We'll blend this down, and then we'll set this aside and wait for the temperature to cool on both the oil and the lye before we mix them together. While we wait for those to cool, let's take a look at the clays that we'll be using in this recipe. Now since this is a Neapolitan bar, we'll need black, a white, and a pink clay to match the color theme. Clays come in over a dozen different shades, so for this design I'm using white kaolin clay for the vanilla, black Brazilian clay for the chocolate, and rose clay for the strawberry. Now the links to these exact products will be at the bottom of the page if you want to replicate this exactly. Now we're just going to get this set up and pre-prepared by measuring out three quarters of an ounce of each of these colors and get them ready to be incorporated. Now this is my suggested max usage rate on adding clay to any recipe. This is a lot of clay and the typical usage rate is one teaspoon per pound of soap. So this is considerably more. Three quarters of an ounce is three tablespoons. And here you're going to see a demonstration on what kind of bar will be produced and also what this will do to the batter while you're working with it. Once our lye and oils are cooled, I'm going to make each layer of soap in this design separately because I want to have complete control over the trace as each layer is setting up. So I'm going to separate the lye water solution into three parts. Each part will be divided into 8.35 ounces. Now this may not be exact for your measurements depending on your scale, but just get them divided as evenly as possible. The oils will also be separated out into three parts, and this will be divided evenly into 16 ounces. Remember, this is a three pound recipe, so we're going to divide this out into one pound of oils per part. Remember, we're pouring the lye water solution into the oil, so make sure you separate the oil into a deep measuring cup that your stick blender will fit into, not a flimsy soda cup. The first layer to be prepared is the chocolate layer. So I'm going to add 8.35 ounces of lye water solution into 16 ounces of oil and blend this down until it's emulsified. Now this part is going to get 3 quarters of an ounce of the creamy chocolate cupcake fragrance oil. Give this a blend and allow it to mix into the batter. Now just as this is emulsified, we're going to add the black Brazilian clay and mix this until it's completely incorporated. You'll notice that the soap will become thick almost on contact, but get this mixed in so that there are no dry pockets trapped into the soap. And then once it's complete, transfer the soap into the bottom of a three pound loaf mold. Try to transfer the soap batter while it's still thin enough to pour. If you mix too long, you may find that it needs to be spooned in. Now, for this design, that's fine. You can spoon this into your mold and smooth over the top, but the look is more even all the way through the entire loaf if you're able to pour it in. Now, I want this layer to have enough time to set up so that the next layer can be poured over the top without interrupting the first layer. Now, this may take about three minutes, but we're not gonna wait too long 
because if the soap on the top gets too hard and dries up, then the next layer won't stick. You want to pour the next layer while the first layer is firm but still sticky. Next, we'll step aside and mix the second cup of lye water solution into the second part of oil. Blend this until it's completely emulsified and then add the white kaolin clay and mix well. When this is ready to be poured, spritz the top of the chocolate layer with rubbing alcohol and carefully pour the second layer of soap over the first layer, gently so that the vanilla layer does not interrupt the surface to the chocolate. Then we'll give this three minutes to set up like we did with the first layer. You may have noticed that we did not add any fragrance into the vanilla layer. Sometimes these sweet bakery fragrance oils will have a small amount of vanilla in them and that will change the color of your bar over time. In order to keep our white kaolin pristine white during the curing process, I'm not going to put any additive into it that could disrupt that color. And finally, mix the last part of the lye water solution into the last pound of oils. Mix this until it's completely emulsified and then add three quarters of an ounce of fresh strawberry fragrance oil. Blend this down well, and then we're ready to add our three quarters of an ounce of rose clay. Mix this into the soap until it's completely dissolved. Once we're ready to pour the final layer, check on the firmness of the second layer and see if it's ready to hold that third layer. And by now it should be set up. So spritz the top with rubbing alcohol to help it adhere to the surface and gently pour the strawberry layer into the mold. Spritz that surface with rubbing alcohol as well to keep the soda ash away and leave this alone for 24 hours to set up. Once 24 hours has passed, we're free to cut open our Neapolitan ice cream slices, and you can see how nicely these three different clay types will give you a natural dramatic color. Now, these clay bars are usually considered facial bars. Clay tends to absorb moisture, so people will use clay to dry up oily patches on their skin. But these bars can also absorb moisture from the air as well, so make sure that you cure this in a cool place away from humidity. If the air is too humid, like maybe if you live down south in midsummer, these bars can get soft and crumble if they aren't stored carefully. If you feel like you're having an issue with the clay in your bar, then with this recipe you can definitely cut that clay back to a half an ounce or even less, and you'll see a difference for sure. But that really is if you live in an extreme environment and you're having problems where you need to troubleshoot the quality of the texture of the clay in your finished product. So this concludes the third recipe in lesson two. And now we're ready to move on to the next recipe.